Hey, you are back at it again for some new glitches. In today's video, we are going to be going over a new massive damage with a recent glitch. Not only this, we are also going to be going over a new way to take out Commander Nile. So let's get into it. First off, you want to head over to the mountaintops. Once you are here, you are going to then head towards the north. Once you do this, you will want to look down because we are going to hop on top of a certain tree, which is right here. You will want to double jump, yet delay it, and then land on the tree, then jump again and delay your jump once more. Then you'll land on top of the castle, like so. You can explore the top portion for fun if you like. You might as well lay down some messages for some other fellow Tarnish that want to come by and uh, check it out. But anyways, this spot's not just a cool spot to get to. You can shoot your bow across and hit the commander this way, just like you have done before on the left side. Shout out to a member over on Reddit that showed this strategy, so all credit to them. I'll leave a link down below. Now, let's get into the second glitch, which I just mentioned at the start, which is going to be the massive damage glitch. In order to perform this glitch correctly, we need to arrive at the Swamp Bank Lost Grace. What you want to do at this grace is to rest until it is nightfall, once it has reached that time, you can then head towards the east and encounter a death right bird. Now, in this clip, I've already taken it out, yet you can check out my previous videos on how to beat it easily by making it throw itself off the map, but that's a completely different video. So, when you do defeat him, you will unlock the death poker. Once you have that, you're good to go. Let's head over to the next spot which is going to be located right here over at the Sage's Cave. This spot may be a little tricky because if you do not know the route, you can probably get lost a little bit here. So let me guide you through it because you're going to need a specific weapon that you can acquire from a boss here. So again, we are at Sage's Cave and let's turn on some light here, okay? Let's activate a torch. For the most part, you can just dodge you know, a, a variety of these enemies, or a majority of them, just run through, pick up the chest if you would like, and as you go through, you can also pick up the loot. I'm just here to show you how to get to this specific spot. Now, as you go through, take the right side, follow it through, and what's going to be interesting here in a, just a second is that you might encounter a boss room like so. This is not going to be the boss room that you need to go to. Instead, turn around, then take a right. As you take a right, you will then want to go back up. So retrace, back up, and then take a right here. It may seem like this is a dead end. Hit the wall, grab the loot on the left side, hit the wall, then go through here and beat the boss. Once you defeat the boss, you will then receive the family's head, which is what my character is holding in his right hand. Now, let's head over to the death-touched catacombs, because we need to pick up a specific sword here or better yet a katana so let's go to the left then we are going to then drop down below once you have dropped down below turn around take a left and then go through here once you've gone through here you can then pick up the blade to the left and it'll just be there on the side sitting on the edge pick it up and now you have the uchi katana let's do the offhand swap glitch what you want to do is slash with your sword Use the Ashes of War, pause the game, click on Equipment, click on your sword, go all the way up, and click on the Death Poker. What's going to happen is you will end up doing this, and you do not need to click anything else because the Ashes of War will be used automatically when you do swap. It's that insane that it took out our poor Pope Turtle friend, and now he's up there in heaven. So, what we need to do is use this on one of the bosses such as Moog. So let's do this. I'm gonna show you guys how fun this is. So let's activate our Mimic. I am now going to consume the Crimson Tears. We are going to then slash. While you slash midway, hit the Ashes of War button, then pause, click up to hit the Death Poker, and it will then cast down like so. If you do experience this weird, laggy uh, animation skip that's perfectly normal, uh, just rinse and repeat the steps again until the boss has been taken out. This is probably the fastest method out currently, so there you go guys, something really cool and unique. I had a blast, really had a blast taking this dude out. It was really fun, especially because he's such a pain 
Uh, once he gets in that second phase, it's pretty much a no-go for show, you know what I mean? So there we go, and you will get a million runes. If you do not get a million runes, the reason for this is because you did not use a golden scarab or you did not use a golden foot foul before attempting at this. As you guys see in the video, I made a great mistake of not using this, yet I wanted to include this in the video so I could show you what not to do. And last but not least, this glitch right here has been known, yet I did not think that it was still possible to do after patch. And it's quite easy to perform. All you really need to do is have the crucible spell or incantation called horns. This is easy to do. What you want to do is hold down the crucible horns all the way, swap over to your spell or incantation, and then use it directly right afterwards. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you are new, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you all on the next video.